Hi, meteorologist John Dawson. Thanks for finding us here on YouTube. This is the Fox 26 YouTube tropical update. Glad you clicked in here to get the latest on what's happening in the tropics on this Labor Day, as a matter of fact. So happy Labor Day to you. Maybe you had the day off and you're still kind of curious what's going on in the tropics, and I'm glad you found us here. And remember, whether it's a holiday or not, we're here every day during hurricane season giving you the latest on what's happening across the tropics. And so we'll start with Earl, which is still a tropical storm. I thought there might be a possibility that Earl would get organized enough that we would get to that hurricane status already, but I'm a little bit ahead of schedule and it does look like things are going to kind of linger around for another probably 48 hours. It'll probably be two days before we get to that status of hurricane, but really we're right below it. It's just kind of a slow developing system when we look at Earl. Earl has currently as a 4 p.m. update from the National Hurricane Center on Labor Day. Maximum sustained winds at 65 miles an hour, so we're not that far away from the hurricane status and the movement though has still been very slow. Currently now in a northerly track at around six miles an hour and we're going to expect that if you look at the Hurricane Center's expectations, we'll do that again for tomorrow with 70 mile an hour winds and then Wednesday will be that time in which it reaches a hurricane strength. But again, we're only talking about a five mile an hour difference in the winds. It could be a hurricane by tomorrow. We'll see sort of how it develops, but look at what's happening with Earl as far as how long it's going to stay around. This is the five day track, of course. So by the time we get the Saturday, still going to be out in the Atlantic and going to be strengthening to a major hurricane category three hurricane expected actually as early as Friday, but even staying with it uh, into Saturday as well. So really all week long, we're going to be able to talk about Earl and whether it's a tropical storm or a hurricane, we'll just let Earl develop and see how long it takes to kind of get that hurricane status. But it does look like there's a good chance it'll actually be a major hurricane, and this would be the first major hurricane that we've seen uh, in the Atlantic for this season. We'll talk about Danielle in just a moment, but not reaching a hurricane status as far as a major hurricane. So here's Danielle. As a matter of fact, and I said I want to talk about Danielle in a moment, though, because I want to kind of get back down into what's happening here with Earl. And again, Earl has got a pretty good development. There's not that clear developed eye wall that helps kind of give it some of that strength. But watch really the rain bands that are reaching way back. All of this th this movement is sort of again still pulling enough moisture putting enough spin and sort of pull in the atmosphere that all of that rain is still stretching back into Puerto Rico uh, and uh, some of the northern uh, leeward islands. And so still definitely be beginning or continuing to make some problems for those folks with all of that rainfall that's happening. But as far as the the big, strong, damaging winds. They just haven't really developed yet, and they're not really moving uh, across uh, land at this point. And as we've talked about that category three hurricane possibilities, it's still going to stay out in the Atlantic for that. So here's Danielle. We're talking about Danielle. It has a little bit more of that organized swirl with an eye in the middle uh, as it's continuing to move, and it has a little bit more speed to it. When we show this forecast track now, you'll see that the, the, the icons have a little bit more space between it. Not a lot more. I mean, it's at nine miles an hour instead of six miles an hour. But again, you can see the spacing between the icons representing a 24 hour period. And as it moves through time, it begins to speed up. And this is a five day forecast track. And we're only showing four days because by the time we get to that fourth day and especially into the fifth day, it's going to be losing its tropical characteristics at that point, maybe as early as as Thursday, even losing some of its car tropical characteristics. So the waters are be too cool uh, up here really to continue that development. So Danielle, as opposed to Earl, which is still gathering its strength, Danielle has pretty much peaked at this point in time. When we look at the current winds, they're at 85 miles an hour. And again, the winds aren't the only way to kind of show that organization and strength, but it's kind of what we fall back on most of the time. Max winds right now at 85 miles an hour. Tomorrow in the afternoon at 80, and we get into Wednesday about 75. So again, you can see the, the it has peaked. It is now beginning to become weaker as it moves through time. Quick reminder on the names, because that's always something we like to talk about and how many systems that we've had so far. Uh, we've worked our way through the E named 
The F named storm will be next. That's Fiona. And so we'll see how long it takes for the Atlantic to continue to churn and crank out another named system. Hey, yesterday I invited you here on YouTube to find me on Instagram and a, a handful of y'all did that. I was really appreciated that I got a few direct messages. Uh, I got a few just follows uh, and that was really en enjoyable. And I definitely saw some comments that you've made all the way below. So, so thanks for making it all the way through this YouTube presentation. And then again, especially for those folks who have have followed me. So if you haven't, you're officially invited. Look me up really on any platform you want to, but Instagram is where I, you'll see some of that hurricane preparedness stuff. And I like to hear that interaction, that feedback a little bit more on there with some comments. So look me up. I'm at John Dawson Fox 26, and it'd be a great idea to get that Fox 26 weather app downloaded onto your phone as well. Otherwise, we will see you again tomorrow back here on YouTube for an update on the tropics.